Hi, kids. Professor Esther Hester here with my nephew, Lester. Today, we will use science to learn about matter. Matter can be solid like the food we eat, or liquid like the water we drink, or gas like the... <clears throat> Oops. Excuse me. <laughs> I was going to say gas like the air we breathe, but the air we burp is also gas. Solid, liquid, gas. Right. Now let's take a closer look. Solid matter keeps its shape unless something happens to change it. These things are all solid. Hey, this is Mr. Ted, my old teddy bear. If you squeeze Mr. Ted, you can change his shape. But if he just sits there, his shape stays the same. So, what about liquid and gas? Why don't I answer that question with a demonstration? You mean... That's right! It's time for a Professor Hester Tester! Look at these containers. Glasses, cups, bowls, pans, vases. All different sizes and shapes. Solid matter keeps its shape. But watch what happens to the shape of this water when Lester pours it into these containers. Liquid matter, like this water, changes its shape to match the container it's in. Isn't that amazing? I saved my favorite form of matter for last. Gas? Gas is your favorite? I like how you can't always see the gas itself. It can be totally invisible. But gas always takes the shape of the container it's in. So, in a way, you can see gas. This balloon is now filled with my breath, which is a gas. Helium balloons! Just like I had at my birthday parties. <laughs> the helium that's in this tank and this balloon is a gas also. And there's another gas in this room, too. Can you tell me what it is? I don't see anything or smell anything. Are you sure there's another gas in this room? This room is full of air, which is a gas. The fan is pushing the air. Wow! I can't see the gas, but I can sure feel it. And now, kids, it's time for a Professor Hester challenge. Can you explain how our bodies contain all three forms of matter? I know, I know! Great! Lester accepts the challenge. Our skin, muscles, and bone are solid matter. Our saliva is liquid matter. True. But saliva isn't the only liquid matter in the body. What's flowing through your veins? Blood. I heard that blood is mostly made of water. Right again. <laughs> the air I breathe in is a gas. <sighs> and the air I breathe out is a gas. <sighs> Which is a third form of matter. Three for three. Well done, Lester. You can see why I'm excited. Matter is so important. These three states of matter are not just all around you. They're in you. Right, Lester? Right. Three cheers for matter. <laughs> <laughs>